hi hello guys welcome back to my channel it's really nice to have you guys here so in today's video we're going to continue in our series of generative ai for beginners so in the last video we were able to explore chat so we, we know how chat works you know, we saw some examples you know and like all of the basics of chat so if you have not seen that video again please go and watch it but today we want to like uh, explore the basics of uh, LLMs to see how LLMs are being used in ChatGPT because the brain behind ChatGPT, like uh, I would just say a chatbot, is the LLMs. Okay, so before we continue, let's just define some basic stuff, right? So, what is uh, LLM? So, LLM stands for large language model okay it's a large language model right so of course it's an ai model but it's a like a language ai model and it's a very large model right so uh we'll see why it is large you know uh, as we continue uh, uh in this video so it is a type of computer program of course it's a computer program it's able to understand and generate human like text right so you see in the last video we were able to interact with chat and it was able to give us some text you know interact with us you know like humans humans and all of that right so the brain behind that is the large language models like the llms right because they are able to understand the question that i ask and they are able to generate um new text based on what they've learned you know uh to to give response to what i ask you know um that's how llms uh, are right so for example think of llm as a giant library inside a computer that knows how to talk and write like humans right it's like a giant library of, of information you know and uh, it knows how to use the information, how to structure the information or text or anything, you know, to uh, chat or talk like human. Okay, so that's LLM for you. Please don't forget that. And um, of course, again, it is an AI program, so it's it's like even like a type of artificial intelligence, right? And it uses deep learning. To perform natural language processing okay which is called nlp so this uh, nlp is like a different topic on its own but just know that you know the llms where right, they use uh, deep learning technique to perform a, uh, nlp okay so we are still gonna go like a little bit deep you know uh, into this in the next uh, uh, next video but today is just for the basics of llm so uh after knowing the definition then how does llm work right or how does an llm works okay so llms are trained on huge amount of text data from books articles websites etc so you see that's why it's called large language model right you know it's like an ai that, that i've read lot of books like almost all the books in this world you know, because ai is very fast ai can read a 500 page book right well, with like in one minute of course it, it will take us days to uh, to do that right but but because computers are very fast you know they're able to read like very fast so the llms are able to use the huge amount of data to learn uh, stuff from books and articles right that's how they are able to understand what we say and they're able to generate new content because they've read a lot of books and a lot of articles so they learn patterns on how words are used together okay so after uh, reading all of this uh, text data from books and articles then they learn patterns of how words are used together you know it's like learning the rules of grammar and storytelling without being told directly right so llms of course they still use something it's called transformer right so remember when we talk about uh chat we say chat is um generative pre-trained transformer okay so this so llm use transformer 
that and transformer is a tribe type of ai model that helps uh llms to understand and transform world into meaning okay so when llm uh read all of this data right it used transformers to understand mini and to uh, get some patterns okay so i'm going to introduce uh, transformer a little bit in this video but in the next video we're going to like go deep into transformers and how llms are able to use transformers to get mini to work okay so again if you don't want to miss that subscribe to the channel and um yeah come back for the next video okay so just like uh picture uh pictorial uh um representation right of what i discussed here so you train the llm with all these data you know then llm transform uh, all this stuff like uh, uh, uh into patterns right so okay question what does the llm use to transform all of these into uh, uh patterns remember it's a use transformers okay then after that then the llm is able to give you the response and then chargeBT. so like the way it works so chargeBT is what you are interacting with but at the back of chargeBT is what we have llm and at the back of llm we have the transformers okay so when you are typing with chargeBT and you ask it a question chargeBT will go and ask llm and the llm will go and ask the transformer okay so that's that's how they uh, interact together okay so the next thing how do llms generate text right so now we understand how they learn but then when you uh, ask question how does it go ahead and generate new text right based on what it has learned before okay so the first thing that you type your question right, like a prompt you know something like that you know you type your a question then there is the processing stage so the llm read the prompt then it look for patterns right because the llm has learned some pattern before then it now look for new like pattern in what you have typed and now try to compare what the pattern that you have typed into the pattern that it has learned before okay then after that then it get the output to generate the response word by word right so you see that when you interact with chargeBT, it gives you word by word word by word word by word right so um what is uh, actually trying to do is to predict the next word you know uh, based on the structure that it has learned before okay um so just like a pictorial um representation of this again okay so you input your uh prompt let's say you say how is the weather okay so that question goes into the transformer right how is the weather so so these are the things that the transformer will do okay so in the next video we are going to go into this in details okay but the first thing that the transformer will do is something called tokenization first the transformer will break the uh the sentence into words so how we stand alone d we stand alone whether we stand alone today we stand alone and well there may be a question mark we stand alone okay that's the first thing then there's something called word embedding converting word to numbers so you guys remember that computers only understand numbers computer does not understand words right so what this does is convert this word like these words into numbers that the computer can understand then after that it's not transform uh like these embeddings into meanings right and everything happened with like in the in the transformer phase okay again in the next video we are going to learn that and so um after transforming it into meaning then it now understand the meaning to like to a certain level and based on that use that pattern to go and check what it has learned before and give answer and it will give the answer and say oh it's sunny and warm okay so the brain is actually this transformer right the brain of the llms is actually the transformer examples of llms 
okay so examples of large language models so i want you guys to please focus on uh, focus on this right it's very important okay um because you guys need to know some terms okay so this is an example of llms this is a application they have been used and these are the companies uh, that design them like this is not like all the list there are like hundreds of them okay these are, these are just the top three okay so we have llms called gpt3 gpt4 okay so i don't want you guys to confuse the llm with chat gpt is a chat bot something that you can chat with but the large language model that was used we 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 have one called gpt3 uh, gpt4 okay so gpt of course we, we should know is generative uh, retrained uh transformers okay right so we see so chat gpt is different from the model that is being used and then we have github copilot so this one is used to um to help people to write code right so when, when you are writing code it will uh, give you suggestions of uh, what you need to write next so they also use these models right these large language models in it and the company that um did this is called open ai okay so we have another model called llama right large language model meta ai okay this one is mostly used in academic research and uh, the company that developed them like this is meta but uh, formerly called facebook right then we have another one called uh bert uh, uh by directional encoder representation from transformers okay you can see it's always from transformers okay so this one i use in google search and other google applications like gmail and all of that you know the company that developed is google ai okay so let, let me show you guys example of how this is used in google ai okay so when, when you go to google and you type questions so let's say we say what is llm uh this is really uh small let's make it bigger so what is llm so you can see the response that you have in here is response from ai before we, we don't used to have this but now we have you see generative ai is the one that predicts this then you have other results which are not uh ai okay so this is used in this okay just to let you guys know okay so yeah that's an, uh, an example of how uh llms you know have, have been used okay but please don't forget there is difference between gpt models and chat gpt okay so, so in the next video like this is going to be very important we're going to learn transformers right we're going to learn how transformers encode and understand uh text you know and like we're going to do like a little of mathematical um uh explanation of how llm works right and, and i think you guys will enjoy it so if you don't want to miss that video please like my video subscribe and share and please please if you are watching this video please comment like ju just leave a comment in the comment section let, let me know uh, what you guys think about this video okay and i will see you guys in the next video bye